When you press the record button for the 4K30, it's about, oh, what was that? Thank you all. <laughs> Now, since your boy Sky Money is always drinking coffee, I went ahead and started one of those buy me a coffee. So if you feel like buying a thug of coffee, definitely feel free to do so. No pressure, no pressure. Just saying, the yeah. link is down below. <laughs> but anyway, Pimpin, let's not get lost in the sauce because today is a review day. And it is something that I've been waiting for for a while. And now, if you've been watching the channel, you probably already know what it is. It is the Insta360 ONE RS. And now quick disclaimer, Insta360 did not send me this. I bought this with my own money. As a matter of fact, I bought the twin edition because I couldn't even find the 4K edition. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty expensive. Now the 4K edition runs for about $2.99, but like the twin edition cost some racks. It was almost $600, coming in at about $5.70. Like, that's a, that, that's a lot of bag. But anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and go out. Let's go ahead and test this new 4K boost lens. Let's check the image quality, the 6K image quality. Quality, the stabilization, usability, and let's just see if this is a good buy. Let's see if it brings the cells. So let's hop right into it on the Insta360 ONE RS. <laughs> Almost forgot the name again. <laughs> and now for the review, we will be shooting in 4K 30 Maybe you try it out the 6K. I think the 6K only does 6K25, so maybe we'll try that out, or actually 6K24. But yeah, Pimpin', we will definitely test out that 6K. We, we just got to. All right, so the old is the 360 one our camera. Now, me and this camera, we our connection sometimes gets lost. You know what I mean? Like, like you guys and I on that Wi-Fi, but me and Insta 361 are though, we have lost connections. And the main reason for that probably has to be with the marketing. Whoa, that was a charger. Holy cow, a charger <laughs> in, in the Harlem. Oh, damn, that's boss. <laughs> but yeah, I think the reason that me and Insta 360 are not vibing that well is the simple fact that their marketing and the people they push these cameras out to, they're it's they're not bringing it like they don't bring the sauce but that's where you got to turn on your boy sky money channel so that way you can get the true review on the new drip before you buy it so yeah i will be giving my honest opinion on the camera that way you guys don't go out and like waste your money or buy it and then be like what is this nobody said nothing about this and that last thought is very important because that tends to happen a lot on youtube i mean you'll be sitting at home watching reviews then go out pick up the drill and then you'll be using it take it home to look at the footage and then be like nobody told me about seven hour processing time like why didn't any of these reviews say that believe it or not i have had the insta360 one r and it, it it just didn't it didn't work for me that much image quality wasn't that great the one inch sensor quality was good but processing time was terrible and also the audio on the one r wasn't that great i so i ended up returning it i just couldn't like i could not deal with the camera i love the idea i was super excited for this camera but i just could not deal with it i mean my gopro hero 7 was better than the one r it was just it wasn't that great <laughs> oh that's a cool boat <laughs> S360 ONE R was advertised as this amazing new camera, a GoPro killer, and all this other stuff. But in reality, it, it was just hype. But what about the Insta360 ONE R S though? I'm trying to find out if the Insta360 ONE R S is just all hype or is actually bringing the sauce. <laughs> How are we sounding? How are we looking? How is the image quality? <laughs> also, that guy said, like and subscribe. So do what he said and like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, so I think you can rent both down here. Huh. Who knew? 
all right, so now while we walk to the windmill, how is the audio? let's do a quick audio check. how does it sound? so bit windy and this case is supposed to do the whole like wind muffle thing. so how is the audio? how are we looking? how are we sound? can y'all even hear me? cause man, i promise, like the first one, i was out man. I, it made me hot. like i almost brought the smoke. and the audio was so bad on the first one. <laughs> man. like it was embarrassing. i was like nope. <laughs> But yeah, how is the audio so far? Is it good? Does it suck? Let me know, Pimpin. Just let me know. And now, so far, we have had a couple of hiccups. <laughs> really, just two freezes. And but something that I did forget to mention is that this camera only goes up to 4K 60. Yeah, you if you're looking for 4K 120, Pimpin, you, you ain't getting it. The windmill just turned on. Uh oh, oh, there, look at that. Uh, wait, wait, there we go. It's right there. <laughs> the screen is so small <laughs> that it's hard. I mean, it looks great. I mean, the image quality looks pretty okay on the screen, but it's just so tiny. Like, you can't really, like, you know what, Pimpin? You know what? I was gonna save this for the end of the video for the cons, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it because I, it just kind of annoys me. But shooting in 4K 30, there is like a lag like for real like it is it is a very noticeable lag now i've watched a ton of reviews on this thing and nobody talked about that another thing to note too is that once you press record it does not record it'll start recording maybe three or four seconds after you press record which is so again nobody talked about that part either so for usability it, it's not looking so good that it's, it's not looking that great so far another thing to know is that it is a bit warm i mean not the camera part but the core itself is a bit warm and the battery life isn't that great i just realized i'm about it looks like i'm about 60 percent already and i've only been shooting for maybe 30 maybe 35 minutes and again nothing's changed still shooting in 4k 30. All right, so I haven't been using this camera that long, but I can already kind of tell that this camera was meant to be released last year. When I did the video about like my first thoughts on it was, that was like one of the biggest complaints that I had was the simple fact that it took two plus years to come out with the, initially the same camera. And actually like after using it for a bit and feeling like the design and build quality, yeah, this camera was supposed to come out last year. Two other things that I have to bring up just to let y'all know is that with this camera, the lens cover that's covering the actual lens, you can't remove that. So I would highly recommend you get some kind of glass for this lens if you're just worried about dropping or scratching it, whatever. You, you're gonna have to get some glass for it. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we're at the park. Now we gotta do a stabilization test, Pimpin. Y'all already know we gotta do it. We gotta bring the sauce. <laughs> How is it? I'm going fast. I'm going uphill. <sighs> Drip check. <laughs> How's it looking? Should be pretty solid. That flow state stabilization. How was that? I'm tired. I also got to pee. We can cut that part out of the vlog. <laughs> all right now we gotta do a quick skin tone check how are we looking now it's not the best of days but some sun is poking out a bit it was like super bright earlier and then i went inside grabbed the package opened it and y'all already know the netherlands so we are on a cloudy day but how does it look from the viewfinder it actually doesn't look too bad how are we looking skin tone check how are we looking? Also overall, how is the image quality so far? Like, is it good? Does it suck? Is it better than like a GoPro? I personally don't think so, but it does, it doesn't look too terrible. Okay, we are on 6K now. The 6K option with the black bars at the bottom and the top. How are we looking? And now something that I noticed is that 
while using 6K, it doesn't have a lag. Like the lag is not there like at all. It does have a lag when, it, when you press the record button. When you press the record button for the 4K 30, it's about, oh, what was that? That was weird. That was just like a, like a purple glitch on the screen. But anyway, that was, what was that? Well, geez, that, that was trippy, what? That was really trippy, what was that? In my initial first thoughts video, I said that that was a huge pro for this camera, just for the simple fact that like 6K, that's like unreal to me. I mean, that's just, just crazy to me. Like guys, like this stuff, no matter what's going on, we gotta stop and appreciate the simple fact that technology is like amazing. So how does it look to you guys? How is it? How's it? Let's do a quick drip check, quick skin tone check. How we look up? How are we? Again, it's not the greatest of days, but how are we looking? Quick skin tone check. How are we looking? Try to make sure I don't get hit by a bike. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a couple more shots for the 6K footage. Let's just a couple more B-roll shots, a couple of walking around shots, just so that we can really see if the 6K brings the sauce like I thought it would. Okay, 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 okay. Man, I knew there were, like, man, I knew it was something. It, guys, it is always something. I knew it was, like, too good to be true. But, but you know what, anyway, Pimpin, let's not be haters. You already know my hood will never let me be a hater. So let's start off with the pros of the N360 ONE RS. Let's go ahead and talk about the pros first, and then we're gonna go hard in the paint on the cons. So first things first is I have to say that I do like the new design of the case. Also, I love the modular design of this camera. I liked the first one. I bought it right when it came out after watching a couple of reviews and I, I was just fascinated by the camera and I still am. So that is a pro for me just because the innovation is amazing. Plus they brought out all the mods at the same time, which is extremely boss. And then also with the case, with the case now you have the side case where you can just open from the side and slide it right out. That's boss. My next pro has to be that you can actually set custom settings. All you gotta do is press this button on the side and it will bring up custom settings just for you. I like custom settings. The next pro for me has to be something that like no one mentioned in these reviews as well as even these paid reviews and I think I know why. But no one mentioned that you can change the sharpness of the camera which is like that is great. That I feel like that all cameras should offer some kind of some kind of setting that you can change for your sharp. So definitely a huge pro for me. <laughs> The next one is that the audio is surprisingly like a lot better. Like I, it's not as good as a GoPro, but it, that is a huge plus because I don't know what they were doing with the first one. Oh, and one of the biggest pros has to be the stabilization. The stabilization is now included. Pippin, that is huge because that was the reason I returned the N360 ONE R. Like I couldn't deal with the processing. I cannot deal with processing time. That is, it was ridiculous. And that is about as far as I can go with the pros. I know, I know. I know. First con for the N360 ONE RS, the 4K boost mod, is that it does feel outdated. I personally think that this was supposed to come out last year, which would have made a lot of sense. Like, yeah, offering internal stabilization is great and all, but like, who doesn't have internal stabilization? Come on, let's be real. And then not being able to use the camera without the case, that's a turn off for me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm spoiled. The next con has to be that the settings feel a bit weird. Like, they kind of don't make any sense. Like, for example, you would think that being able to choose the sharpness and other settings will be inside the exact same menu as when you're choosing the resolution. But no, it is very hidden. In my opinion, I feel like a lot of creators miss the simple fact that you can change the sharpness because it is not obvious that you can change the sharpness in the camera. Like it, that you got, it's really like, hidden. I've watched a ton of reviews and not one of them talked about certain settings that I found in this camera that are extra, like, are huge pros for having the Another camera. thing that a lot of people didn't talk about is the lag that you're getting in 4K 30. Now, at first I was confused because you're not getting lag in 6k but you're getting this lag in 4k also the response time of the camera is extremely bad like you press record it does not record as this whole new core whole new lens whole new processor and you still get in this lag i don't even think the lag on the first one was that bad so watch this let's get the timer ready and go turn it on boom it's on 
seven seconds just to turn off. But hopefully though, they can fix that in an update. And to be honest, lag is not new. We're kind of used to it with the GoPro, but GoPro has fixed these problems. So I am positive that Insta360 will do the same and fix them as well. And now the elephant in the room is there is significant lag shooting in 4K 30, but no lag shooting in 6K. Well, pimping, I figured it out. There is no lag in 6K because there is no stabilization. There is no internal stabilization when using 6K for the Insta360 ONE RS. And this one is a big con to me because it makes no sense. And now I can understand not having the flow state stabilization, which is like their best stabilization available. Like no stabilization? That, that to me, man, that is a huge turn off because that means you have to process the footage. You're back to that whole processing thing. And Pimpin, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna go ahead and say, what you guys can't say. Ain't nobody got time. It's 360. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yes, no stabilization, like none, is a huge con as well. And then a quick side note, there are some glitches. Every now and then it will freeze, especially when you're trying to play back video. It will freeze. Sometimes it won't turn on. And then the weirdest thing I've seen so far is this purple glitch. And then the biggest con has to be the image quality. It, <sighs> so with this huge boost in sensor size, like it looks the same as the S360 ONE R. So if you have the first one, I would not recommend getting the S version. So who is this camera for? Well, if you are interested in using a 360 camera as well as an action camera, this is perfect for you. And if you don't have the first one, definitely cop this one. I do think that it is an overall good camera. All right, but you guys already know, I have to ask, what do you guys think? Like, for real, is it, is it just me? If I'm wrong, call me out. If I'm wrong on anything, call it out. Y'all know I'm a thug. I, I take criticism like a boss. Like, what do you guys think of the camera? What do you guys think of the footage? What did you guys think of stabilization? Was it up to par for you guys? Because to be real, I really want to like the camera. I, like, that is no joke. But, like, it's a bit of a letdown to me. That whole 6, like, that whole 6K sounds amazing, but finding out that you have no stabilization, like, and you gotta do the processing thing, like, that's a huge turn off for me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Plain and simple, I do not wanna process footage after I go shoot, especially not for no action cam. What do you guys think though? Your opinion matters. If you wanna check this camera out, the link is down below. Check it out, I ain't a hater. It's a good camera. For real, like them comments up. Let me know what you guys think about the camera cause I would love to know. You can also support the channel by buying me a coffee. I mean, if you, I mean, if you feeling up to me. Cause remember, thugs need coffee too. But that's it, Pimpin', I'm out. I will see you guys in the next one. We press the record button for the 4K30. It's about, what? that was really trippy. What was that? Uh, <laughs> huh. But anyway, like, I, wait, geez, what was I saying?